Welcome back to the Grown Women's Table. Hey, 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 it's your girl Lori. Hope you guys are having a great and wonderful day. Y'all, today's video is all about the NARS face palette. And you know, we got questions. So is it dark girl friendly? Like are these bronzers really gonna bronze? That's the main question for me. And is it worth picking up? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna answer the questions, but you know what you need to do, right? Keep on watching. All right, y'all run, grab your chairs, pull up a seat at the grown woman's table and let's get into this video. Y'all, NARS gave us a face palette and it is called the NARS Laguna Ultimate Face Palette. And I have the second version because it comes in a lighter version and a darker version. Now, we're gonna open this up, which is kind of hard, y'all. It's hard to open this thing up for real. Like, in the comment section, if you have this, is it hard for you to open yours? This is what it looks like. It's $59 and it does come in two different um, palettes. So this is the deepest palette they have. You get eyeshadows, two bronzers, as well as a highlighter. So that is what it's looking like. Now let's talk about packaging. Y'all, the packaging is super. I love the color of this palette. It's like a copperish coppery color it feels like it don't feel cheap it has a it's, it's in between it's not heavy it's not light but it's in between nice packaging the only thing i don't like about it is y'all okay you know it's closed so i do like that but to open her up it's very difficult That's how I have to open it. I don't know about anybody else. So packaging wise, I do like the packaging, but I wish it was easier to open. And of course you get all the information on the back of the palette. Now with the eyeshadows, you do get multiple formulas. So we're getting mattes, satins, and shimmers. So that's a good thing. We get multiple formulas. And we are getting a lighter version, a lighter, uh-oh. A lighter bronze and a darker bronze this one is the Laguna 6 and this one is the Laguna 8 and then of course we get in the highlighter okay these are the swatches of the eyeshadows this one right here is called easy living it's a matte and it's called cinnamon this one is called tan line it's considered a satin golden tangerine the next one is Summer Love. It is the Antique Copper Shade. And the last shade is called um, Sand Dollars and it's a Sparkling Crimson. So those are your swatches. All right, y'all, so those were the swatches for the eyeshadow. So you guys know we normally do a demo and then we'll get the final thoughts. So let's move on into demos. All right, y'all, let's do something with this eyeshadow. So we got four different shades. So I'm gonna go in with the deepest one because you know I like a, a deep, Outer V, I'm going to use my Worker Lotus Brush from Sonya G. So this is the matte shade that's in the palette. And we can see it. Definitely has some color. And I think for the lid, I'm just going to go in with Sand Dollar because it has that crimson seed color. I feel like that would go good. Those two colors are going to go good together. It gives just a little sparkle, a little color, a little sparkle. I'm going to build it up. Let's build it up some. I feel like this is very monochromatic. You're, it's just almost the same color, except one is like matte and one is the sparkling shade. But those two colors together, if you're looking for something simple, especially if that color's in a maxi dress or something or a nice little shirt, I feel like it needs something else. Let's use Summer Love, this shade right here. Just in the inner tear duct. Right in here, so add a, lift this look up a little bit.
What do y'all think? You're going to get a very simple look. You're not going to get I'm going to clean up. Y'all know I got to clean up, but I actually like this eyeshadow look. Let me clean up under the eye and put some mascara on. Let me be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I just went in and put in um, Sephora Black Liner and Dark Star Mascara, cleaned up under the eye. It is a pretty look. I actually like it. It's very simple, easy. All right, we've used three of these shades, so let's go ahead and use this one shade, Tan Line, by itself as a one and done. Let's see what it can do. I'm using the Builder from the Lotus Collection from Sonya G. And I'm just going to put this on the lid as a one and done shade. Let's see. That's a pretty, that's very pretty. That's a pretty color on me. I do feel like though, I'm having to build these up a little bit. These shadows up a little bit. All right, y'all. That's a simple one and done look. So let me know what y'all think about the eyeshadows. Let's move on to the most important part, the bronzers. So as you can just look in the pan and know, six is not going to bronze me at all. So we're going to go straight into number eight, Laguna eight. And because of the sizes of the pan, I'm just going to use my, um, what is this? The, this from the fundamental set and it's a sculpt two brush. Cause I feel like it's going to be easy to just kind of go in. All right, y'all let's see. I'm looking at my monitor y'all. Okay. Okay, y'all, you can see what it looks like on me. I feel like like when I first put it on, like when you write like that, you could see it. But as I start to blend, I can still see it, but it I don't know. It seems like it's lightening up a little. It's giving me a light bronze. Like, it's very, I feel like it's pretty. But, okay, so with, without. It's definitely sculpting out the face, so I can see it doing that. It's a nice light bronze. Let me, you know what? Hold on. I got the Laguna 5 cream bronzer. We're going to add some cream bronzer on this side and top it with this one, the number 8. Let's see what happens. This is what it looks like. Taking my sheer buffer brush. Y'all love this brush. So you see the difference in that one? That one feels like it's pulling deeper than that. See the difference? So let's see if this cream bronzer is going to help out this powder bronzer. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely does. It Because the cream to me is a little deeper than the powder alone. Okay, so this is just the powder by itself. This is the powder on top of the cream. So which side do you like better? I like this side better with the cream. Now, so... That's the, that's the demo of the bronzer. Now let's look at the lighter bronzer. I'm going to take my face pro from Sonya G and 
let's see if I can just kind of like set the face with it as a setting powder. So I'm lightly going in and hit all the areas that I didn't put the darker bronzer on. Mm. Y'all, that is pretty. Especially considering the foundation. I am wearing a NARS foundation, but I felt like it was a little too cool. So this definitely warmed up my face. Okay. Okay. Because we want to know, is this worth picking up? And am I going to really use these colors? So let's get into the highlighter. The highlighter is called Week, uh, Weekender. And it is a golden copper shimmer. Go in. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna build it up for those. I know y'all know that like the glow glow. So let's build it up a little bit for the girls that love the glow glow. Okay, so this is what it's looking like built up. And this is a little bit more my speed, but y'all already know we toning that down. So let's tone it down some. Oh, that's very natural looking. Now, I also want, the reason why I did this one and done, because I also want to see, can I use the number eight Laguna? Let me just grab a brush. This is um, my MAC 224. We're going to go into Laguna. And we're going to see if we can add that as an eyeshadow to deepen up, add a little depth to this look. Okay, y'all, I think it's doing a little something. Like, if you're lighter than me, I can definitely see both of these, you know, depending on your complexion. Both of these could be used as eyeshadows. I'm going to go in and do what I normally do under the eye, and I'm coming right back. Okay, y'all, so after I cleaned up the eye and added that brown to that one and done look, that's a very pretty look. And I just did the same thing. I used a black eyeliner. All right, y'all. Let's do my final thoughts. So, the NARS Laguna Face Palette in the deepest shade. Let's answer the questions. Bronzer. Is it going to be deep enough for my skin tone? I feel like it's going to give me a nice... You can see the bronze. So, this is the side without the cream with the cream i like the side with the cream better but if it's just alone i can still see the bronzer it's a light bronze but it gives a bronze so yes it will work now as far as this shade right here number six i am very surprised that it really looks good as a setting powder i kind of lightly went over my face with it but when i did use it as a setting powder it just added a little lift to the look my skin just looked a little bit more blurred and just smoother in the areas that i used it in like right in here y'all saw it so I, I really did like this as a setting powder because that foundation wasn't actually giving me that the warmth that i wanted adding this on top of it it did the job the highlighter it was a nice highlighter as you can see, it's buildable. And then I do like the fact with the eyeshadows, you do get multiple formulas. I wish, which I understand, which makes sense, that, you know, y'all know I always want something dark in the outer V, but I know that's why we have this as well. So you can deepen it up some with this color to add, you know, just to help out these eyeshadows a little bit, give it a little extra depth. 
So I feel like this is a really nice palette, especially if you're a girl just wants something that you can just go to every day. And I feel like especially this eye right here is that perfect everyday eye. Now this one with this more crimson color may not be an everyday eye, but it, it's, it's a cute eye. But this one right here definitely could be an everyday eye look. So if you're looking for something that you can get your highlighter, a bronzer, a face powder, and some eyeshadow. Yeah, I feel like it's worth picking up. I actually really like this. I really do. And y'all already know what I'm about to say. If you're traveling and going out of town, this would be perfect to take with you. I feel like this is a perfect travel-friendly palette. And it gets the job done. And you know what, y'all? I know we were doing final thoughts, but let me see something. Hold on. I just thought about something. Y'all, let's take Summer Love. This is my Ruffer 16 brush. It's big and fluffy. Because I didn't put any blush on. That is, y'all, just on the apples of the cheek. Blend it out very well. You blend it out. Use a nice fluffy brush. Oh, she cute. So we can see the blush, the bronzer, and the highlighter. Okay. All right, y'all. I know we did a demo in the final thoughts. My bad. It just came to me. It just came to me. You guys, this really is a face palette, as you can see. I do feel like this is definitely worth picking up. I do feel like this truly is a full face palette. I do like the color story. This is a nice palette, you guys. And the bronzes are doing, you know, you can see them. So I am happy. Who Who is this for? I really feel like this is for, well, let me say this before I say, y'all, the packaging once it's closed, it's so hard to open. So hard. That's the one con. I hate the that it's so hard to open. But this is for someone that is looking for a really everyday palette. Someone is looking for a palette to travel with. Someone is looking for a palette that's going to be a quick five minute face beat run out the door type palette. This is who this is for. And I believe this would be a great palette for a beginner in makeup because they don't want to have a huge collection, just be buying a whole bunch of stuff. But this right here has just about everything that they need other than the complexion and a lippy. So that's who I feel like this is for. All right, y'all, that's it. In the comment section, let me know, did you pick it up? If you did, do you like it? And also, guys, I am on the road to grow. So you know what we need to do. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about your girl's channel. And you guys, thumbs up the video. Again, it really does help the, um, the channel. And I will have an affiliate link in the description box. If you do decide to pick this up, I will receive a, um, a commission off of that link. But that is a way to support the channel. And I appreciate you and thank you in advance. But that is it, y'all. So to all my new subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, girl, hit that button so that I can save you a seat at the grown women's table. And until the next video, bye-bye. If you need some advice or looking for an idea, just to get some tips, you can get that right here. This is Lori's life. Yeah, this is Lori's life. Check out Lori's life. What? Yeah, this is Lori's life. If you need some advice or looking for an idea, or just to get some tips, you can get that right here. This is Lori's life. Yeah, this is Lori's life. Check out Lori's life. Yeah, it's Lori's life.